guys, I'm Vizio and today I would like to show you the simplicity and the beauty of a open differential. So this is a very simple example made from a Lego. There are three parts. It's the, the output shaft from the gearbox, it's uh, the differential cage, let's say, and then there are those axles of both wheels which are able to rotate freely independently from each other. So when the power comes from uh, this black gear interacts with this uh, differential cage which is in silver that turns these silver inside gears which are spinning freely on their own axis but are basically locked and uh, turn with the differential cage inside and those two they can be one there can be four it doesn't matter those interact with these uh, axles directly connected to each wheel shown in these uh, yellowish gears this middle part is just to strengthen my uh, example it should be mounted from the outside, but it doesn't matter. It's just there to support uh, this uh, right axle. So when the car uh, goes in a straight line, the differential is basically locked and the whole system turns as a single piece. But the interesting part is when the, the car is approaching a corner and as we all know a inner wheel turns faster than the outer one for simplicity we will just stop this one this wheel and turn this one so you can see that it can turn the differential turns with this left wheel but the right one is stopped this wouldn't be possible without the open differential. The same goes for the other side. You can see that there's power coming from the output shaft, from the transmission, and uh, it is very easy for the car to travel in a corner where both wheels turn in different speeds. They can even turn each the opposite way of course, that's not what uh, normally happens, but it is possible. What is not possible with this open differential is uh, lock both wheels and uh, force them to turn as one, like you would with a locking differential or self-locking or electronic uh, locking differential. So when one wheel is on a tarmac, and one wheel is on ice, this one will just spin and the other one will, well, won't spin. So that's the the drawback of a o open differential. But it is the cheapest solution and that's why each car has an open differential unless there is some uh, need for a, a different solution like you would in a sports car where there is a a limited slip differential let's say i imagine that it wasn't very easy to get this idea although when you get the idea how it works it is a very simple uh, design and yet so beautiful so i uh, hope you like this uh, type of video i am uh, willing to make more such uh, <laughs> videos in this format via Lego so if you are interested uh, give a like comment what you would like to see in the next video uh, possibly and don't forget to share it with your friends thank you very much for watching and <laughs> don't forget to subscribe for more videos like this cheers